welcome back to my channel and another food haul it's a big one this week i've been to sainsbury's i've also actually been to lidl because i popped over there first thing this morning to try and get an inflatable kayak as always with lidl they sold out they i don't know how many they had in but they were gone by like quarter past eight or something like that so didn't get one of those but while I was in there, I picked up some meat. I just find it much cheaper in Lidl than anywhere else, so I'll add that into the haul as well. But I got the majority of it in Sainsbury's. I did spend quite a lot. There was a sale on, and I did buy quite a lot of clothes. So I think what I'll do, I'll take through all the food bits, and then it depends. I might just do a quick run through of the clothes I bought, and then possibly if I'm, once I've tried them on, if I'm keeping them all, I might do a more in-depth haul or something along those lines. I'll just show you briefly, but they've got a really good sale on. Obviously you can't try anything on at the moment, hence the fact that I bought it and I can always take it back. I also bought some school shirts for the boys and t-shirts for Oscar for when they go back to school. So I'll take through everything I've bought and then I'll let you know the exact total. I've probably already put it on the thumbnail anyway because it was quite a bit. Um, and then I will take through next week's meal plan. So if you're not already subscribed and you like this kind of video, I'd love it if you would go and do so. And also give it a like if you enjoy it because it really does help promote my videos. Anyway, let's go and have a look at what we bought in Sainsbury's. This is crazy. The clothes are piled up behind me. I'm going to start to lay those out. Right, so let's get this done so I can get it all put away. We've got some British Hearts of Romaine lettuce, some close cut mushrooms, white seedless grapes, some red onions, some organic spring onions. They were the only spring onions they had. A big net of courgettes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven courgettes, and they're £1.60. We love roasted courgette. Cucumber. Six of these Kanzi apples. It says crispy and juicy, and they were £1.50 instead of £2. I got three mixed peppers and a big bunch of bananas. I got two of these imperfectly tasty baby potatoes. They look really nice, they're just slightly odd shaped. And I think these were a pound um, for a kilo, which was really good. And I'm going to chop them up to make potato salad anyway, so it doesn't really matter that they're a bit of an odd shape. I also got a big bag of normal potatoes for things like jackets or mash. I've got two lots of bacon rashers. This is 95p for eight back bacon rashers, and that's the smoked one. So that's quite a good price for Sainsbury's because they are a little bit more pricey than other shops, I find. I've got some fat-free Greek-style yoghurt. We use this as dressings, mix it with mint sauce and things. I put it on salads, jackets, everything really that I'd normally have cheese on. I put it on like if I have spaghetti bolognese, I always dollop a bit of that on top. Just so you're having cheese. But I did buy some lighter cheddar um, in case we want some. I got two of these as well. I got a sweet chili Philadelphia and a new limited edition jalapeno Philadelphia. That sounds like it's going to be amazing. A bit like um, the jalapeno chili poppers. I think that's going to taste like that. And these are a pound each. Rolo mousse and milky bar mousse. You get four of those and they were also a pound. I got some semi-skimmed milk. Two lots of Aunt Bessie's chips. These are 900 grams and they were reduced to a pound a pack instead of pound seventy-five. I got a big thing of crushed ice. I wanted iced cubes but they didn't have any um, just because it's warm and we like ice in our drinks and we don't have any of the ice making things. It just saves so forgetting that you've not made the ice basically. <laughs> Crisps, I got some wheat crunchies, some Doritos, some flaming Hot Cheeto Puffs and some Lion Snacks. The Lion Snacks over there, they're just like the Pom Bear ones or the Bunny Bites from Tesco's. These were all a pound, I believe, for six. Apart from the Cheetos, you get eight. I'm actually gonna use those to make like a chicken palm kind of thing. So I'm gonna dip some chicken breast in egg. I'm gonna coat it in the Cheetos and then put it in the oven. And then you spread like, you could use this um, jalapeno Philadelphia or just normal cheese spread on the top and then grill it and it just comes out really nice. I tried it years and years ago and I was looking through my old photos and saw it the other day so I thought I'll try that again. I've got two stuffed crust takeaway pizzas. This is the sauce stuffed crust. That's really hard to say, sauce stuffed crust. Um, these were £2.50 and they're really, really nice. They're normally £4 and they're made with unique rising dough. Um, I just think they're really worth buying because you'd spend such a lot of money getting a takeaway pizza and these are really good. I got some wafer thin chicken slices, wafer thin ham. We were completely out of things like this. My fridge is really empty and so are my cupboards. Some cheese strings, 
Boys have been very good, so I got them one of these Rustler's Cheeseburger. I only ever buy these when they're on offer at a pound because I wouldn't pay two pound for that. I think it's a lot, but you just put these in the microwave and they like them. I don't know, it's a novelty. Um, I got some brunch bars. These are the peanut ones. I never buy the peanut ones normally because the boys aren't allowed anything nut in their school, either of them. So I don't ever buy the peanut ones, so I got the peanut ones and also some milk chocolate golden syrup popular bars. Some milk chocolate chip brioche rolls some of these greek style flatbreads these were only a pound and we use these for loads of things breakfast wraps they're especially good for i got some warburton thins oscar loves these just with pate in so they were reduced to 80p some mini pan of chocolat they were 89p for six so the boys could have those as a little snack i got sucked into the whole i've been to Lidl for three weeks in a row so i need to buy some different things so every time i saw something branded i was like oh look at that so i, I got some oreo birthday party um just because they look cool when they were 50p i got some cadbury snack shortcake they were a pound for six these are normally one pound 75 for six and they're only tiny little biscuit packs i think that's quite dear but they're all right for a pound I got some cracker bread and some salt and vinegar rice cakes. Got some Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. We absolutely love this. Um, I actually got three of these because they were reduced to a pound or they were on offer at a pound. So I got three because Sainsbury's is the only place that does them around here other than ordering them on Amazon. Stocked up on garlic powder, which was a pound for 100 grams. And two of my tandoori masala powder so I can have my tandoori chicken. These are 80p for 100 grams. I got a light mayonnaise, uh, coconut oil for the dog's dinners. Um, it just helps improve their skin, their coat. They have a lot of allergies. It helps their joints, their breath. It's just so good for dogs. So I give them a teaspoon each a day and they weigh about 12 kilos. Just because I always get questions, why do you give your dogs coconut oil? No added sugar, orange lemon and pineapple squash and an apple squash. Over the back there is three Alpro unsweetened coconut milk. Steve and I always have coconut milk. The boys have it too, but sometimes they'll have semi-skimmed. It depends what we've got in, but we tend to only like coconut milk. I got two of these hot dogs and a tin. Where's it gone? A tin of chili con carne, and I'm going to make the boys chili dogs for their like Friday night movie night treat kind of thing. I got one of these big Kenko Milicano coffees. This was only £4, so I got one of those. I also got some Intenso coffee pods for the Nespresso machine. Four tins of tuna. I've seen this. Um, lots of people have been saying about this. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it in other people's videos. And it is Yorkshire Tea Multi Biscuit Brew. And apparently it's tea that tastes like biscuits. And I just really wanted to try it. It was £2.30 for 40 tea bags. So I just thought I'd give it a whirl. And I really want to know if it does. If you have tried it, let me know in the comments whether you think it does taste like biscuits. Because that sounds amazing to me. I don't drink a lot of tea, but I just saw it and thought, yes. I got two fajita kits. These were £1.40. And you actually get your flour tortillas, your fajita seasoning and tomato salsa. So we can have that one night. I got a vegetable oil spray because fry like kills your pans. I got two chili con carne mixes as well just to have in in case we want to do a chili. Got some sweets for putting out for movie night. So I've got some sour skittles, some giant skittles, some sour patch kids and some more sour patch kids absolutely love fizzy sweets these aren't for me i'm trying to be good but i do really like them um and i've showed you those i've showed you those right so that is everything i bought food wise so just a few bits i picked up in Lidl. i got a big pack of chicken thigh fillets two lots of chicken breast fillets these were 30 percent off so i've got two of those i can pop one in the freezer i got four four skinless wild pink salmon fillets these were three pound 59 which is quite good for pink salmon 10 of these chicken chipolatas, they're a little bit like the heck ones. We had some the other day and they're really nice. They've got um, sun-dried tomato, mozzarella, garlic and basil in them. They're only one ninety nine for 10. And then I got 20 of these outdoor bread chipolata, British pork sausages. And they're 95% pork and these were £2.59 on special offer today. So those are the only bits that I picked up in Lidl just because I was in there anyway looking for a kayak which... I didn't okay, get. So if I didn't say that all came to £183, but I think this was partly why. So I'm not sure I haven't tried anything on yet, 
but I just picked up a few bargains. I got these sort of cord shorts. Now they're coming up really, really red or orange on camera. They're not, they're like, um, they're like a rust color, but I don't know why they look so, so red. And they've got like the paper bag waist. These were actually 16 pound and I paid four pound 80 and just a little pair of shorts. I thought they'd look really nice with a little white cami top. I got this really, really thin black jumper. It says Petit Moi and it was eight pound and it's like just nice and thin material so you could wear it sort of with a summer's evening i actually bought a dress and it's hard to show you but it was 16 pound then it was 70 percent off and it's just black it's short and it's this kind of crepey material and it's got like the three quarter length button sleeves i just thought it was quite pretty and it just might be really nice just to wear it with like sandals or something like if you're going to the beach or I don't know. This was £4.80, so bargain. So I'll try that on. You can also wear it in the winter over like leggings and boots or something. This was the only thing I bought that wasn't in the sale. I just loved it. And it says, comma si, comma sa. And it's just stripy, like t-shirt, but it's quite a thick t-shirt. And it's got this like ribbed bottom and then the ribbed cuffs. I thought this would look really nice with a pair of denim shorts and some sandals and maybe a nice little handbag. Just kind of like a summery vibe. I got this white shirt because everyone loves a white shirt. I absolutely love my three quarter like rolled up jeans and a white shirt. This has got like pinned up sleeves and it was £18 and it was half price so that was £9. And it's like a linen-y look. I just think it's really nice and summery. I've got two more of the tops. I've actually got one on today. Um, I bought blue, white and a flowery one before. I really, really like them. And they didn't have the black and they're only £5 each. So I bought two. They've got this like nice plaited strap and they're tapered at the bottom. Next, I got this little jumper. It's just really, really thin. It's really hard to tell on camera, but it's white, sort of knitted, and it's got these little hole detailing all the way down. And it's so thin, and it's like three quarter length sleeves as well. I think they're not full length. And it's just, again, I thought that would look nice with like leggings or something, or some denim shorts. I got some vest tops for bed, basically. I wear vest tops in bed, <laughs> just in case you wanted to know that. Um, and these were £4.25 for three. So I've got a stripy one, a grey one, and a navy one, just bog standard vest tops. And then last, well, no, actually not last, last for me, I got this pair of wide leg, like joggers kind of things. And again, they were £4.80. They've just got a stripe down the bottom. And I just think they'll go really nicely. Like I wouldn't wear them in bed, but when I get out of bed, you just chuck them on with one of the vest tops, like the grey one or the navy would look quite nice. Just to lounge around the house and they're really soft. Um, but then you don't feel too pyjama -y. And then I just got some school shirts. So I got age 16. He got three for £9. I also got age 17 because they're tall old boys. Uh, three for £9. And then three age 10 polo shirts, which is what Oscar has to wear. And they're £4.50. We've still got loads and loads from obviously last year because I haven't worn them all year. But I always like to get them a few new ones. So yeah, that is everything I bought. Now I'll take you through my meal plan. So here is this week's meal plan. So we always go from Thursday through to Thursday. So we've got tandoori chicken with salad and I'll make a mint yogurt dressing to go with that. On Friday, Steve and I are going to have a salmon and chickpea mixed salad, probably with some baby potatoes or pasta mixed mixed through it. And the boys are having chilli dogs. Saturday, I'm going to make the chicken palm that I mentioned with a potato salad and some sort of salad on the side. We're eating a lot of salad at the moment. <laughs> chilli con carne on Sunday. On Monday, we're going to have, Steve and I will have the heck sausages or the heck fake heck sausages. And the boys will have the other sausages. And for Steve and I, we'll have roast veg. And the boys will have wedges and beans, probably. Fajitas on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we're all going to have steak with salad. And the boys will have jacket potato with theirs. And we'll probably add some like fried onions and mushrooms into the salad as well. So that is this week's meal plan. Nice and simple and fresh and healthy. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave me a like. And subscribe if you're not already. There is an entire playlist of these down below. There's like 90 something now. So if you fancy going and having a look, then they'll all be listed there. And I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. This is what we waited for.